It's pretty clear to me when I see on the screen on the GoPro Hero 12, the image looks really washed out. So what do you think? Side by side with the Osmo Action 4. It looks pretty blurry. Maybe that's something wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I'm out in nature again, testing my Osmo Action 4 against the GoPro Hero 12. This time in log profile. I've seen a bunch of videos uh, online on YouTube, of course, people compare these two cameras, but also compare or seen uh, the flat color profile or the log profile on GoPro Hero 12. Some people say that it looks kind of blurry and washed out. And of course, I want to test it. And then against the Osmo Action 4, which is a fantastic camera. I think also the GoPro Hero 12 is a good camera. So far in my test, it looks pretty good. Uh, but I, I just want to compare these two cameras side by side. Also full, full frame, of course, not full frame, but full view on the screen, not only side by side. So you can decide. The image is gonna be graded and ungraded. On the GoPro Hero 12, we have 5.3K log. You can only adjust the ISO to 400. That's max, that's all right, I think. Today, uh, I just want to see how much you can push the image, image and how good it actually is. And is there something wrong with the log profile on the GoPro Hero 12? Some people say that. I've seen some videos, people are addressing GoPro and that they need to tune the log. But um, this is not going to be a video criticizing either camera. I don't see the point. Both are excellent cameras. Uh, but which has the best low profile. And then it's also important to see how good the dynamic range is and yeah, everything. White balance is set to 5500, that's it. You can't even adjust the exposure on GoPro. It was blacked out for some reason. Both have 10 bit, that's good. So you have so much room to adjust. So we're just gonna film a little bit out in nature. I'm gonna do a test of course. Uh, in city center and, and film but I love being out in nature so why not so let's uh, take some shots and you you can tell me down in the description or the comment what you think about the footage so let's take some shots <laughs> Okay guys, we're on ultra view or hyper view on the GoPro Hero 12 and ultra wide on the Osmo Action 4. This looks probably a little bit stupid, but that's the point, testing this. Do I look tiny? Uh, and is the field of view wider on the Osmo Action 4 or on the GoPro Hero 12? But what I can see so far only on the screen on the camera is that the log profile on uh, GoPro seems to be much more saturated and a little bit more mushy and washed out than uh, the Osmo Action 4. Of course, maybe I can fix that in post. Remember, I'm filming in sharpness at the low, the same on the Osmo Action, so you can adjust the sharpness in post. I think the best way to have control over your image is actually to set, sis, set down the sharpness so you can add it in post. It's pretty easy to do that in no matter what kind of 
editing software you are using. But what about banding? Can you see a lot of banding on the trees? And is it more on the GoPro than in the Osmo Action 4? For me it seems like the trees are banding much more on GoPro. Uh, the field of view is wider on uh, the Osmo Action 4, but you can buy the Max Lens mod for the GoPro Hero 12 and get a much wider uh, field of view. I think it's up to 177 or how degrees or something like that. You have 155 on uh, the Osmo Action 4. But how does this look? Look at the tree here. Can you see the bending on GoPro? Not so much bending on the Osmo Action 4. It's pretty clear to see that on this, this thing, this tree. It seems to me like it's bending not so much on the Osmo Action 4 as it does on GoPro Hero 12, but I think most people are using this uh, kind of field of view with action sports when they're riding a bike or on a car or whatever. Maybe not out in the woods with trees and a lot of stuff, but yeah, this is what it is. But I think uh, DJI did a good job, especially with the warping in the image, because on the Osmo Action 2, the warping was quite a lot actually. Let's switch to um, to linear and see or standard D warp on the Osmo Action 4 and linear on the GoPro Hero 12. Just see how that looks uh, out in nature. Let's do that. And now we can see we are standing at exactly the same point as we did with ultra wide and uh, hyper view. You can see that the tree isn't bending so much now, or maybe not at all. The image should, should be pretty straight, and every object around you should look pretty good but uh, this is linear how does that look for vlogging I'm holding the camera around maybe 50 centimeters from my face so everything should be in focus that's the point if you get too close with these cameras maybe like that uh, I'm out of focus I'm around 20 centimeters from the lens but uh, yeah holding the camera a little bit stretch out is the best <laughs> to make sure that everything is in focus but this is linear how does that look So I'm not going to complain. I don't see the point of complaining yet. Uh, DJI and GoPro has always did a good job updating the cameras. Uh, I still have a DJI Action 2, which I use quite a lot. Sorry to say they don't seem to be upgrading that anymore with firmware. I hope they did, uh, because it's an excellent camera. And I have the GoPro Hero 10. You can watch the video where I compare the GoPro Hero 12 that was just a short little test. I'm going to do much more testing, and especially in log profile against the Hero 12 and the Hero 10. Yeah. And I'm going to test these cameras much, much more. So just remember that. So give me a thumb up, and I really hope you will subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. And please watch the whole video because it's important for the algorithm to pushing my content. I'm over 10,000 10, subscribers, that's just excellent, but many people don't watch my video for so long, and that's maybe because I'm not good enough, so I need to train, that's for sure, but I'm just a simple guy making videos out in nature. So uh, yeah, give me a thumb up and subscribe, and tell me what you think about the low profiles on these two cameras. So i see you in the next one. Bye.